I'm going to sketch, uh, sketch it before. What I'm intending to do is uh, I am going to create like circles on top of each other. Uh, I can say like about uh, 10 circles um, with, with like the distance to be 100, but uh, 10 circles. So between each one and the other is uh, 10 millimeters. And uh, after I create them as this kind of uh, range or uh, this series, I will uh, also control the radius of them. So I will uh, put something that uh, changes the, the, the radius like the way I want. So for example, if I want something like this, uh, I can easily change that. So this circle will have smaller radius. This circle here will be, this one will be a bit wider. This, this is wider, this is wider, then get smaller again. So we will see how to uh, apply that in practice. We can like make, like since uh, our shape is a parametric, we can do a lot of things on this shape. We can do like surface patterns or so, but the shape will be cha always changeable and controllable. So uh, I'm gonna start with circle. But uh, as I said, I want, I'm, I'm not going to use it like uh, very fast or right, right away. Uh, okay. I have to create uh, points for these like 10 grades, like uh, the, the centers of these circles. And I have to create radiuses. Let's start with the uh, points. To construct a point, I can just write construct point. I have this component. And let me also grab this by focal. I will uh, leave the x and y like as zeros because I'm not going to change their locations. I only want 10 z's. So like one as z0, one as z1. So to, to create these uh, 10 circles, I will, I will create 10 centers. So now we have it here. Uh, to create uh, this kind of range, uh, or there is actually the component is called range. It uh, kind of takes a domain, it takes also a number. For example, I want the full height of the uh, the vase to be 100 millimeters. So this is my domain. And I want like the divisions or the steps to be 10. So I call 10 and link it. So now I have created a range. Um, like to see the range, I will link it to a panel here just to, to view it. This uh, just created uh, the range between uh, 0 and 100 with 10 steps. So this is what okay. it basically did. Uh, I will link these numbers. I will link them to the Z value. When I look to the Z value, I can see 10 points here. These, these points will be the, the centers of uh, my circle. That's why I created them, which I'm going to link them to the plane input from the point to the circle. And here, I can already see the these circles are drawn here. So because I have 10 points, then I have 10 circles. But now because the default value here of the radius is very small, they are very small. I say, for example, 15 and link it. I will see them like this. Uh, but here's the thing, I, I don't want uh, all of them to have the same radius. I don't want this fixed number to be applied to all of the radiuses. I want some like, changeable thing. So that's what I'm going to create now. Uh, I will create a, it was called a graph mapper. You remember this graph mapper from earlier when you have the graph types and if I go to easier, I can change values of, of things. What uh, this graph mapper takes, because here on the corner I can see zero uh, to one. So it, it needs uh, another 
range, like similar to what we created. So if I create another range, uh, the default domain in this range, if you hover over it, you will see uh, zero to one. So it's like similar to, to these numbers. So this would work fine. But with the steps, we have it now here, 10 steps. So I can click only the steps and put the range in here. To check out the output, I will just call a panel and I see like a bunch of numbers. All of them are between uh, zero and one. If I link them now, they kind of like work. They, they will show me this effect I want, but again, they, they will be uh, very small. So I want to increase that number. So I can do a remap. I'm saying remap numbers from like the numbers of like the, the values. These are the numbers from the graph mapper to a target domain. So now this is the important thing that I would have to create. I would say construct domain and I can uh, put some uh, numbers between, for example, 20 to 40. So now, uh, after a while, when I link them, I will show what these numbers mean. But um, for now, I have this domain. It's from 20 to 40. So if I link oh, okay. this domain to this panel to see, so it all it says is 0 to 40, uh, or 20 to 20 to 40. Yeah, yeah. sorry. But then if, if you want to uh, like slice it or make it a range, we will use this range component F. For now, this domain I can link to the target. These now I'm, I'm creating the values of the of the radius. So uh, I started with this. This is my first point. Created the domain. The default is between zero to one. Then this graph mapper is also between zero to one. And this remap numbers is taking it from a source, which is from zero to one, from like what they are now. And it's remapping these numbers from zero to one to this target, to this from 20 to 40. I have like this and this is zero to one. And I say remap, then these values will change. The zero will be 20. The one will be 40. So like the one and the half will be uh, 30 or so. So it's just changing the uh, remapping the numbers. Basically. These numbers now will make more sense if I link them to the radius. So when I link them, I can see. So what are we doing now is we're saying the smallest uh, radius should be 20. So if I want smallest radius to be less, I can do it less. If I want the widest also radius to be wide, I can make it wide. Again, we, we can do some like fun with the shape. For example, let me take the sign component. And if I grab this here, So you can add in another wave, like another curve. Yeah, like as much as you can. Let's say I want a, like a more smooth shape. So I come back to this steps here because I defined it as 10 steps, 10 uh, circles. If I double click and from the max, I change I don't know, 50 then then if you change this slider, you will see how many circles you're creating. The uh, point after this, I can uh, create a loft command. And when I do this, it becomes a full surface. Let me uh, just choose everything before the loft and the middle click to hide it. And then we are left with this lot. 
So 